Okay guys, welcome back to the Rebellious Nice Football Channel. Once again, I am Scott here with another kit review and another kit that I think has gone under the radar. Now recently you might have seen my two uh, videos about takes on the England 1990 shirts, but today it is about something that's probably flown under the radar even more. That's because it always does, and that is Olympic football. Uh, and the Team GB football team. Now, obviously you might be thinking, Team GB, wasn't that a 2012 thing? No. <laughs> uh, 2020, Tokyo 2020 or 2021, just like the Euro being moved, uh, does have a Team GB team. Now this time there isn't a men's and women's team. There is only a women's team who actually qualified through uh, the World Cup in 2019 hence uh, the Lioness shirt right here. So through England, they qualified and they will be playing at the Olympics this year. And just like in 2012, they released a whole range of gear that is for every single sport, slightly tweaked. Um, I don't know if you remember the 2012 shirt, but again, it was, it was quite similar to the rest of the sports so it had its own obvious football feel to it. And this time around, we've got the same with Adidas's Team GB Tokyo 2020 shirt. So, what we'll be talking about today is that shirt. I really like it. I'm a big fan of, like I said on my previous videos, uh, designs being on the shirt. Usually more subtle. Even this, I used to think this looked kind of subtle, <laughs> which ended up being a fan shirt, I think they called it. Remember when Gareth Bale was pictured in it and everyone was like, wow, Bale's gonna play. He didn't play, did he? Um, right, so Team GB, uh, without getting into the politics behind it and the football politics of who's gonna play, who can represent who, why there isn't a men's team, which is a shame, and maybe there will be a video about that someday on this channel, and we will be trying to cover the Olympics on this channel as well, as far as Olympic football goes, because I do think it's undervalued and underappreciated. And obviously, women's football is getting bigger and better as well. We're gonna be covering how Team GB get on in the Olympics this summer. Anyway, back to the shirt. Right, I really like it. Adidas, hey, big fan of Adidas anyway. Uh, but what they've done here, obviously, Keeping in line with the rest of the shirts they brought out as well, uh, but a little extra football flavour in this one. I really appreciate that not only did they have the Team GB logo, but they have the Union Jack on the sleeve because, uh, I don't know if you know, but we used to be pretty good at <laughs> Olympic football back in the day before the World Cup, and uh, our badge was simply the flag. So uh, it's quite it's quite nice in that sense because it feels like maybe, is it a little throwback to that? Is it a throwback to the early Team GB days? I don't know, uh, but I like to think it is. Um, and then even the logo is great though. Really like the, um, the line anyway. I do think it could be a bit bigger. I mean, and maybe be on a badge kind of like this one is, I guess. Um, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Like if it was football, it would probably just be the light, it wouldn't have the Olympic rings, I don't think. I think the rings would, you know, they'd put them somewhere else if they wanted to represent um, the tournament, you know? But you don't see an England badge with that. I mean, sometimes you see the tournament name above the badge or something like that, or below the badge, but this is basically, as you can see, within the badge. Right, so that's that's a whole situation in itself because it's not a football badge, is it? It is a Team GB badge in general, which is obviously only used at the Olympics, so it makes sense. Um, but yeah, as far as the shirt goes, I would like that to have been a bit bigger. Uh, I'm not the greatest fan of this template, but I like the way they've used it. I like the colours down here, I like the, the navy blue here, I like the navy blue on the, the collar. Again, not a fan of how it breaks off here, but hey, that's the template they're using, then that's the template they're using. Um, but I think they've used it in a really positive way. It's a very nice shirt, the material is very nice, and I really like it. Um, now this one, we'll get to a bit more specs, because uh, it's not just a fan shirt like the other two were that I recently did. Um, it is aero ready. Um, so, you know, obviously uh, it's designed to, for performance as well as looking nice, which I think it does anyway. Uh, so that's the key thing in today's game. Obviously, maybe even if you're playing over the park with it, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, I think it's really good um, outing from from Adidas, and again, I really, I don't know, I think it's these specs, like I like the specs on it, that kind of design where, down here is, is solid colors and things like that, and obviously it's a play on the Union Jack, but I really appreciate, I don't know, it reminds me of Wimby in the late 80s, this, this red specs, and some of the Adidas shirts as well, I remember when they had the, the, the template that had the uh, kind of blocks down here, and they had the, the kind of specky colors in that as well, really like that, so for that, it feels like a bit of a throwback, uh, but then again, a lot of modern shirts are looking like throwbacks these days. You know, a lot of them, uh, again, the Nike shirt from uh, 2019, you know, it's got the kind of um, the pattern of, of the roses and, and stuff like that. So 
yeah, really, uh, it's, it's having a real resurgence, these kind of patterns and stuff like that, which I really like. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate what Adidas have done here. Uh, I, again, I think it's going under the radar because not many people are following Olympic football. Not many people know there's a Team GB being represented, you know, that we're being represented at the Olympics this year, which is a shame. And, you know, women's football, is, although it's growing, it's not, it's not as big as men's football, is it? So, you know, I think those kind of things have played a part here, but... You know, it's a shame. I, I really wanted to highlight this shirt because I think it's a really nice one. And not just the shirt, I really want to highlight the team. You know, I really do hope they do well this summer. Uh, not just in football. You know, the Olympics are always fun anyway. So there's a lot of great sports, obviously, at the Olympics and a lot of great things to watch out for. A lot of great athletes, athletes and amazing performances and amazing stories. Obviously, I'll go back to 2012. If you were living in London at the time, uh, like I was then you'll know it just and, and just the whole country it swept the nation you know it was amazing I always wondered what it would be like um, would people actually get behind it but yeah we did man we did the mobile it was great uh, Team GB didn't do that well in football that year though uh, but this time around I really hope they do and uh, who knows maybe in the future we'll have a men's team as well but hey that's all football politics and the story for another day anyway if you like this content if you want to see more kit reviews let us know in the comments below let me know what you think of this shirt and what you think of team gb as a whole and the whole concept behind it it'll be interesting to read back some of your thoughts so again please let us know in the comments below please subscribe because we are a brand new football channel from rebellious noise this is rnfc and uh, yeah we'll see you next time